Hi, it's Craig again. This is lesson two of the tutorials to learn Python and Pi game. These tutorials are aimed at teenagers. The first tutorial focused on the blank screen. This tutorial, number two, focused on the stationary square. So all we're going to do here is create a stationary square. Take the code that you already created in the first tutorial, the blank screen. Let's add some stuff here. First thing you're going to do is pick the color of the square. Colors are in a red, green, blue number system. Red is 255. Zero, zero. So if you think about red, green, blue, it's uh, you can create all the colors that you need to just from these three colors. If it's zero, it's no value. If it's 255, it's the highest maximum value. So 255 comma 0 comma 0, that is going to be all red. So that's some notes here. So we're going to make red square. If you make a different one, if you make 0, 255, 0, that will be all green. 0, 0, 255, all blue. Give it a try. Next thing, we're just going to have the coordinates of the rectangle. Create a variable name. Let's call it mine player rect. It's going to be player of the game here. Player rect. It's just you can pick any variable you want to. The next one has to be precise. After the equal sign, pi game dot rect. It's capital R. There's four numbers. The numbers are the left edge of the rectangle, the top edge, the width, and the height. This is in a coordinating a coordinate system. The coordinate system has 480 pixels wide. 320, 320 pixels high. So if we drop it down at 0, 0, it's in the far upper left hand corner of the screen. Just drop down a note right here for you. Again, rectangle. First number, left edge of rectangle. Then the top, the width, and the height. All this is on the Python freely available documentation at pygame.org. Last nine you need pygame.draw.rect. Takes three arguments. The screen, you define the screen up here. In the previous lesson, we, we set pygame.display.set mode to the size 40 times 320. This thing is assigned a variable. It's called screen. You can call it anything you want to, but I call it screen. It is the main screen of the phone. First one, drop in screen. Next is the color red. I defined red. This this is a constant. It's all caps by convention. Generally, all caps is a constant. This is red. 255, 0, 0. The next is a rectangle. Define it with pygame.rect. Right here with these coordinates. I have it in the main while loop. run the program, you'll get a square that is 64 pixels wide, 64 pixels high, and the upper left hand corner of the rectangle will be in 0, 0. 0, 0, the starting point, 64 wide, 64 high. That's it for the lesson number two. 
But I'll just share a couple more things here. Although we'd be working primarily with rectangles with no images, if you have a graphics file on your computer, I called my girl.png. Right here. It's just a graphics file of a cartoon character of a girl. There's a command, python, pygame.image.load, and the name of the file here in quotes. I've assigned this to any variable. I've assigned mine to player. You can sign yours to anything. So now I have a player rect and a player image. So instead of drawing a rectangle, I'm going to blit a surface to the screen. Blit is a new and special command that you can give to the screen surface. So I'm going to blit player, which is the image right here of the girl, onto this surface using this rectangle as the location of where to blit the player. Run it. Instead of a rectangle, a red rectangle 64, that's 64 pixels, I have a girl that's placed on the upper left hand corner of the screen. The next lesson, we're going to make this character move around Although I'm going to go back to the rectangles because I, I think it's a good solid basis, a good solid foundation. Go back to the red rectangle, do the drill about five times. You can space that out over a couple of days, there's no rush. Just make sure you understand it. Lock it down. Rectangles and this blank screen are the basis, they're the fundamentals of all game programming.